What's up everybody, my name is Jericho, and if you've been here before, you know I also go by Ko, and this is Ko's Corner. If you're new, this is a channel all about reselling. Uh, I'll pop it up right here for you guys. I had a Wii bundle that I listed online on eBay. I put it for $200, and essentially it was just all the abandoned goods from all the Wiis I've been buying and, and collecting over time. And then a lot of times there's games that might not be in the best condition, or they really don't sell for that much, so it's not really worth taking the time to put it on eBay. So a lot of times, I'll, all I'll do is I'll store all the extra games and accessories. And then once I get enough of that, I do one big bundle on the console. So in this case, the console bundle listed on eBay for 200 And then I had it on the marketplace as 160 I'll put that graphic up here if I still have it. So I did it for 200 online, 160 local pickup. And one thing, one word of advice, if you're going to do Facebook Marketplace, don't rely just on listing in the marketplace. You should be a member of every single buy, sell, trade Facebook group that are in your area that you can find. I found a couple new groups and I listed it and I got a response the same day. All of those games that are in this bundle, I bought in other bundles at Garage Sales. So I already made all the money back on those. So technically... Outside of like the $10 Wii investment, I really didn't spend anything else on this. So it's all profit after that. So that's a really good score for us on a really dry week. That's actually going to uh, help catapult us in the next weekend's garage sales. But trust me on this, I, every penny just about was worth it. Hey, good morning. And how much are for these Adidas right here? Uh, 15. 15? I've got a whole lot. Good stuff. <clears throat> how much for your uh, lunch boxes? I just want to get rid of them. We do a dollar each on these three. Sure. Cool. And how much for that bookcase thing or shelf organizer? Five dollars. Five? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> you said five dollars. You got any video games or anything to toss out? Uh, no. Some, you you won't. He's got. No, he's <laughs> he got pinched off on those. He <laughs> won't let those go. Cool. Thank you. Good luck finding that part. <laughs> <laughs> this is sturdy. Oh crap, this is real sturdy. <laughs> hey, good morning. You guys having a good morning so far? Uh, we just opened up, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> so only can go up from here, hopefully. Mm. That's an older 8mm camera. Okay. It works. <laughs> of course, you're trying to get you probably can find it. <laughs> it steals your fingerprints. <laughs> Do you know if it's still working? It works. We cleaned it up, we checked it out, the battery charge was working, the batteries working. Awesome. Then I trust you on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on looking, but no, I'm not looking for anything particular. I just see what what's cool and what I like. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys have any sports cards or video games? No. No. Nope. About the third or fourth person. <laughs>
think I'll do this person, <clears throat> this camera. Okay. And I think I might run through those tables one more time. But. <laughs> Do you guys think y'all are going to bring that Wii U later, or? I don't know. Call my husband. Hey, Wii U! <laughs> oh, great. Don't make me go over it. Hey, let's see you the back off. Cool. I think that's what happened last night. We had anything else to sell. Well, maybe I'll stop by a little later and check and see. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'll bring it over. Because that's the Wii U is actually what I've been looking for. So, I have a couple Wii U games, but I don't have a Wii U to play it. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank y'all. You have the games at two bucks each. How much for all of them? For all of them? Mm-hmm. I do like 25 bucks. Okay. I'm going to start a little pile here. making sure how much for the calculator Three each. So I think there's one for one. we do five if i buy both of them sure cool so that's 30. is this uncut cards yeah Done that. do you have any of the nintendo ds stuff that goes with this or uh the system or anything oh no not, I don't any know. games or anything no, no? cool the games are in there Oh, there's some hidden in there somewhere? Okay. Oh, there's a DS game pouch. How much for... Okay. 31. Do you know this is working? Yeah, but I don't have a, a, a battery charger. Okay. Okay. A 14 or four? No, four. your clothes up here? Um, a dollar. A dollar? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what size this is? Not at all. Probably not the medium like, or large. Medium or large, yeah.
much for this? I'll make it 55. How much are your cassettes? I think it's quarter each. Yeah, Four. I really just want to be able to try and test that stuff, so yeah. I don't really. How much for this one? Five bucks. I'm at 60 even, so I should probably just keep it that way. So I'm at 60 even, so I might, I better keep it even. Actually, I just saw this. You got that as 30, right? Oh, that's 30? Yeah. Oh, I saw that as three, sorry. Yeah, you good, you good. I'll put this one back then. Right. <laughs> sorry about that. No, you're good. It clearly says that I was just in the zone. Mm -hmm. I got, you got change? Like, if you have a five, I'll do 62. You can give me five back? Yeah. Okay. Make it easier for you to get some ones too. Yeah, appreciate it. I'm going to turn my truck around and pull up right here. Is that okay? Cool. Thank you. Cool. Appreciate it. Hey, how y'all doing? Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. You guys have a little bit of everything over here. <laughs> you guys have any uh, sports cards or video games you're like me putting out? No. Cool. Uh, yeah. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Don't you need to a kitchen thing? <laughs> no kitchen. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> you guys take it easy. <laughs> hey, good morning. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Not bad. Twenty-five cents. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Uh, well, primarily sports cards or older video games, so like GameCube, uh, Nintendo, stuff like that. Don't have any of those. Um, Do you have any other video games, even like PlayStation or Xbox? Or I have a couple of PC games. Okay. Um, if you're looking to sell them, I'd be interested in looking at them. Uh, just really quick, while you think about, what would you do for the whole box of CDs? Uh, how much are you offering? Mm. Uh, if you want to look for the piece, I'll look through these first, and then we can come up with a number. Yeah. Sound fair? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it didn't take you long at all. Nah, they were already <laughs> set out. And how much are you thinking on these games? Um, I don't know, I GameStop total. I know, they're my husband's. <laughs> A little bit on the older side. Does a side for right now. Think of a number on the games. Ten. Ten. Two dollars each. Mm, that's fair. I'll do that. Oh, it's hookah. <laughs> hey, good morning, good morning. How you doing? You guys, good, good. It's a beautiful weather. It's a perfect day. You guys picked of all the weekends that have been happening. It's the perfect one. You guys moving? You guys are getting rid of as much as possible. Yep. Yep. How much are you asking for your? That's gonna be a whole set, a uh, hundred dollars. Hundred? Okay. And this guy here is gonna be fifty. In those two chairs? Actually, they had a love seat in the back there too. Okay. Oh, I see it. That table. They're gonna be hundred and fifty. 150. Do you mind if I take a picture? The missus gets to choose. I don't get to choose. So. I did the same thing. But we're looking for. These are actually. Uh, I bought it from same brand, so they are all blending in. Okay. <laughs> There's jingles and more stuff inside too. Jingles and more like it. <laughs> Do you guys have any like sports cards or video games or anything? You know, I have a bunch of sports cards, but I haven't done anything with them. 
That being said, we're going to be doing this next weekend and the weekend after, so I will have them out next weekend. Okay. Okay. Honestly, if you have time, you want to stop by to go through them? Yeah, uh, are they older stuff or newer stuff? Some of them are. Actually, I've got a, uh, a complete set minus one of the 1989 uh, tops. Uh, I'm looking for 266 to complete that, but some they range in the 90s, 2000, early 2000s, uh, back to maybe late 80s. And it's football, basketball, everything? Right, right. Okay. So, so pretty much everything inside, or is it yeah, more just no, yeah, basic furniture? Yeah. I'll go in with the Oh, yeah, I forgot I had those out there. <laughs> Sorry about that. No worries. There's a score. Again, it was one of the, it was a bulk purchase. Yeah. And it all came with. So you do a lot of bulk buying, or? When I can, yeah, I'll try and bulk and buy as much as I can of bulk. It came with this commemorative plate with, uh, these are original 80s, um, G.I. Joe's. Joe's. Yeah. Alright guys, we're back inside. So here's a really first thing. You can see the different stacks. At that big garage sale where I just kept stacking and stacking away. Uh, they had two huge boxes of uh, pretty good sized boxes of video games. Uh, you can see I got two rows of them. The ones in the back, uh, this is something I learned from Chase after the right price if you guys follow him. He's, he's really the sports cards and video game expert that I watch to really learn knowledge. So all the ones in the back are anything that sells for anywhere from $1 on eBay all the way up to maybe $7 or $8 on eBay. Again, I'm not going to try and put those online. What I'm going to do with those is I'm actually going to uh, put them here just on this spare shelf I have. So as I find consoles for these, I'm going to use them to bundle them just to ask for more money. Uh, I really plan on just going over to like a used video game store trading in all the stacks of uh, basically games I can't make money on and then trade it for store credit and then buy a game that I can flip online for a much more profit. But the front games are all going to be a $10 profit and a couple of those are going as high as $20. Uh, the Halos and the Battlefields on their own, I have them right here. They're only worth a couple bucks, but bundling a series together for one system, you can still sell those online. So these are gonna go for about 15 to $20. Uh, so we're still going to make probably about 50 or $60, and I paid uh, 25 We stopped at another garage sale, and this lady had PC games. She, we, I think we settled on 10 bucks. I knew this game alone, this original Witcher Enhanced Edition, it sells for 15 so we're going to basically break even here. Uh, the real surprising one here was the Chronicles of Reddick. This one actually sells for about $25, so I was really happy about that. And then these two Dead Space, I'm also going to bundle up for about $10, $15. So we got about $20, $25 of profit here. At that same bulk one, I got two TI-83 calculators. This one seemed to be a little bit older. Uh, there's no cover for this one. A bolo that you guys should all know about if you're getting into reselling is to buy TI-84 calculators. These are the 83s. 84s go for $50 all day on eBay. The 83s can go for about $20, $25. Uh, they remarked that three bucks each, I got both for five, so we're gonna turn that into 50. I got these two plates. I really don't know what they're worth. I haven't really looked them up yet. I paid $3 total. This is a very old plate. You can see it's 1983. Uh, I'm gonna do some more research on the Carson Mint and just see if I can find out a little bit more about it. But uh, even if we can make a couple bucks out of this, it'll be good. I'm gonna list them and let them sit. Eventually, if they don't sell, like I've been talking to y'all, eventually I wanna open up an antique booth and they'll just go right in there. These are pretty cool. So I got a whole bunch of old vintage electronics from that same bulk buy. I got this Senyo stereo system. I got a Kinyo Super Slim VCR rewinder. I have a VHS rewinder, so I have a couple of VHS tapes to test it if it works. This is selling for about $20. This little stereo man is selling for about 25. I paid a dollar for this one. So I'm gonna turn both of those into about 10 to $15 profit. I bought this little plug-in uh, AF FM little TV. I got a test, I paid $4 for it. Uh, these I found some sold comps for about 20. So again, we're gonna make about 10 to 15 on this after fees. He had this cassette player. I got a test that he was also selling some cassettes. I don't have any cassettes to test this with, so they were selling for a quarter each, so I just grabbed four of them. There were sold comps as high as $50 on this, one for $75, but I think for my case, just to sell it, I paid three. If I can sell it for $50, that's a good deal for me. 
He had this camera for eight. He didn't have the adapter for, but even without the adapter, they were selling for about $35. So I'm definitely gonna double, almost triple my money on this. He also had this cost CD anti-skip. It actually has the little bass booster on it and the headset and the instructions. I didn't find any of this complete for sold comps, but the ones for just this uh, this change, uh, CD player alone was selling for as high as 25. So I think if I asked for 30, 35. Here in the back was another uh, recorder I got from a different garage sale. They were asking 10. I looked that one up and they're gonna be going for about 40 to 45. So we're gonna almost quadruple our money there. Uh, Y'all saw me, I was just grabbing, grabbing, grabbing whatever I could find. It all turned out great. A uh, couple pieces of clothing. This Carhartt coverall, uh, their, their Carhartt coveralls for working, uh, they're brand new with tags, and I was finding some sold comps for $35, and we paid a buck for that. North Face, I'm not even going to pull it out, but you guys know already if you've been watching the channel, I never hesitate to buy North Face. Uh, another cool thing I got there, if you see this, this is a 1987, this is a 1987 Topps Uncut Sheet, so these are baseball cards. Uh, as solid sheets. I see some listed for a hundred dollars and there is one, one that sold for 50 So I think I'm just gonna price mine at 50. I won't really wait for the hundred dollar banger I'll just uh, get my money back easily uh, This one was kind of tough. I paid five for it uh, looking online depending on the lengths I saw some selling for about 15 plus shipping and I saw one as high as a hundred dollars pl uh, plus shipping so on this Bats don't take up a lot of space. They just go in that box with those golf clubs you guys see in the video sometimes. So I'm just going to list it high. So on top of garage sales on Saturday, my neighbor was having a garage sale starting on Friday and on my lunch break. And they didn't have anything out. But if you guys are ever garage selling, you need to ask if they have what you're looking for. Even if you don't see it, some people are willing to bring it out. They had a Wii, it had these two controllers on there. As you can see, they're aftermarket. So I'm definitely not even going to try to sell these at all. But I'm gonna test them if they work. I'm just gonna keep them uh, for my Wii. I don't have. I only have one nunchuck, so if I can get the second one, even if it's aftermarket, just for us to play some games, I'll keep it. And if it works, then I'll do one of my uh, OEM controllers, and I'll sell that online. Those sell for ten to fifteen dollars all day. Uh, that Wii had Super Paper Mario, which is about a fifteen dollar game, and then they had in the console they had Wii Sports. A little bit scratched, uh, but not nothing heavy. I think I can just wipe and buff and it'll be good. Uh, Wii Sports on its own is a 20 to $25 game, even just disc only. So between these two, I'm going to do about 20 to 25 of just uh, profit after fees, but the Wii itself is working. It's in good condition. It's it's the original model, so it is backwards compatible. So I'm gonna be able to sell that for about $50, and I paid 30 total for it. So we're gonna get a little double up there. At another garage sale, that y'all, the one that y'all saw, was not working. I think it's his back one. The faceplate is actually coming off uh, on that one. I ended up doing 10 for it. And even if it does work, I'm going to sell it as parts only because that faceplate is coming off. And I don't want to have any issues come back with it or get anything as far as like a bad bad feedback on my eBay store because it, it's not really in top condition. And because it is a backwards compatible, it'll still do pretty well. I have one listed right now on eBay for $29 free shipping. It's got a couple watches on it, but I think I might update it and add this one to it, update the photos, list it. Uh, I might put it up for $40 and then do $40 free shipping. I'll probably pay about $10 to $12 in shipping and I'm still gonna make about $20, $25 total on, on the consoles. But at that same one with the broken Wii was this PS2. And man, uh, this turned out to be the haul of the day. If you can see this here, uh, and then I bought their PS2 for $30. All This game ended up, I asked them to keep the case, just in case the game was in the PlayStation. When I got home, I opened it up, it's in there. Uh, this is about a $10 game. Uh, Tomb Raider is a, a $20 game, so already that's $30. Uh, the PS2 itself working is going to sell for uh, maybe $60 to $80. Uh, so that'll be already in the profit, so all this is even more profit. It's $30. Uh, this was another $10 game. Castlevania, guys. Uh, I didn't even realize this game was there. I do see uh, Phoenix Resell. He, he's, he has a license, and he sells games on Amazon. Uh, so I knew Castlevania games as well. So I immediately looked it up when I got home and this one on eBay sells for about $77 is what I'm seeing some comps at. So this one does not have a manual, but I think I'm still going to sell it on the high end. Uh, we may actually just double our money 
on this game alone again 77 we're looking at probably a hundred to 110 dollars in profit uh from just selling the games and then of course we're going to sell the ps2 for about 60 to 80 dollars all right guys so that's essentially all i bought the one thing i didn't show y'all just because it's already put up in the garage i bought some teaching supply stuff Again, my sister, the same one who um, I bought the Lincoln, or she got the Lincoln Logs and a couple other things from me. She's starting to teach fourth grade this year for the first time, going coming from sixth grade. So I ended up spending about $20 there at that garage sale, all on teaching supplies for my sister. So she came and picked that up. I paid $20. I gave it to her for $20. Easy, fair trade. It's teaching stuff. I'm not going to make any profits on that. Uh, but lastly, uh, my neighbor who had that same garage sale, so I ended up going back over there. And I actually bought a ladder for $10. And then one thing I forgot uh, you guys saw at one of the garage sales is this right here. The actual bookshelf itself I bought for $5. So that's going to stay in my office. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. Awesome day of sourcing. Like I said, we spent... We went out with the day. We I pulled out all two hundred dollars we had left in our bankroll. Uh, just committed to just buying what we can. So I'm gonna focus a lot. I already have twenty drafts to list today. I'm gonna list those online. Get some of this stuff tested. I'm gonna I'm gonna list all those video games right away. They're really quick to make as far as making listings for them and and taking the photos for them so i can turn and burn and add those 15 20 games onto uh our store really quickly so i can work throughout the week listing more and more uh, if you do guys if you guys do want to see what's in the store uh you guys saw something today that you want to buy and want to keep an eye out for you can go ahead and go uh, click one of the links in the description you'll see a link to the store there's also links to now, all my social medias so typically when i do a haul i'll post those on instagram first as far as what i bought if there's any cool stuff that i bought uh, i'll highlight those there uh, other than that guys thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today if you are new and you enjoy the content and you want to go on this journey with us learning more about it join us on the journey hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you know when new videos are posted and of course like this video other than that guys i have nothing else to say Peace and love and I'll see you next time.